Welcome to the Wolves Den and another action figure review. Today we will be taking a look at one of the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks fantasy figures. This figure is from Wave 2 of that line. This is the Knight of Asperity. And I will be reviewing uh, three figures from this line. In addition to the Knight, I also will be reviewing Felonius and the Orc Conqueror. And if the reviews for those two figures aren't up yet, they should be soon. I will not be reviewing Nerissa as I did not purchase that figure. And before we get to the figure itself, you can read the bio here if you like. You can just pause that. All right, let's bust this figure out of the packaging and take a closer look at him. Starting with his articulation, see that his head does turn all the way around. Can tilt back reasonably and forward a reasonable amount also. And it does also tilt side to side. Arms raised to the side that far, but they do have full rotation. Single bend at the elbow, and that also rotates. Wrists rotate. And then these hands rock up and down. He has a second pair of hands which rock in and out. Torso does rock side to side. Bends back pretty far and forward reasonable amount too. And then he does rotate fully. Legs raised to the side about 90 degrees. Well, Pretty close anyway. And then forward also. And then got a double jointed knees there. And lastly the feet can move up and down slightly and then rotate all the way around. And that is it for his articulation. Taking a closer look at our Knight of Asperity, we first see that he's got this really nice skeleton head which is actually different than the skeleton heads Boss Fight has used on their actual skeleton figures. Uh, whereas that, those have movable jaws, this one is not. It's just one solid piece. But it's still a really nice sculpt. It's probably hard to tell, but it's painted red in there, so there's kind of this red glow for the eyes. Just great detail all around. And this figure is just really detailed from head to toe. All the different straps and armor pieces. This is actually the same sculpt as the Knight of Accord figure I reviewed a few months back. And I love the look of that figure and I think I like it more on this one just because I like the darker colors. So whereas that one was a more silvery and like blues and golds and stuff, this one's just just darker colors all around and I just like the look of that better. So while it's not a problem, it's the same sculpt, because I really like the look of that figure. So I, of course, like the look of this one, too. And so let's get a look at all the different accessories this guy comes with. The Knight of Asperity comes with quite a lot of accessories, the first being his figure stand, which is he's actually standing on right now. So it's your good old Boss Fight Studio figure stand. Next he has a, another set of hands, and these are the ones that rock in and out, whereas the ones he has now rock up and down. And so just depending on what he's using, what weapon he's holding, and how you're posing them, you might want to use one hand or the other. Next up he has a pair of leg plates, and these leg plates peg right into these holes there. like so, just for a little bit of extra armor. And they blend right in and look really good. Next up he has a helmet. Well, he's got two helmets. This is the first one. It's kind of your typical knight's helmet. Really nice design on there. 
and the face mask does move up and down like so. He does have another helmet, which is his big evil pointy helmet here. It's really cool looking. I do like the look of it, but yeah, these are very pointy. And that just slides on his head like so. And those points are actually digging into me. <laughs> uh, another pointy thing he has is he's got two, two of these shoulder pads. And those peg in these little holes here. Kind of tough to get in. I think I got it in there. And then one on this side. There you go. Next up, he's got a shield. Oops. Nice emblem on there. I don't know if that's a sticker or if that's painted on. Either way, it looks really cool. Nice rivets around. It's a nice, cool looking shield. And then you simply just slide his arm through there. It's really hard to get his hand to actually grasp that handle there. So you're probably just going to have that band just holding, his, holding it into place like so, but it stays really well. Next up he has his axe, which is this big evil looking axe. But again, another nicely detailed item, really nice looking. Simple yet effective paint apps on it. And his last weapon would be his sword in the sheath here. Now one thing I'm going to point out here. If you remember my Knight of Accord video, I mentioned how I wished that this could actually peg into the, the figure's back. Let me get his shield out of the way. Because normally it just pegs right here. You know, it would just sit like that. And uh, I'm not going to peg it in there right now. But this one pegs into the back and it stays. Whereas the other one did not stay at all. So either Boss Fight heard my or other people complaining that they wished it pegged into the back and they fixed something so that it would, or my Knight of Accord was defective and it should have pegged into his back but it didn't. Either way I'm glad this one does so I because I th really think it's nice to be able to you know have your sword slung over your back like so. I like that look. So whether they fixed it or my other figure was just slightly defective I may never know but uh, it's cool that this one works. Okay, lastly, the figure comes with another head. And this is a human head. So if you want your knight here to not be skull head, but just be some sort of evil human with this skull-like paint face paint on there, you can do that. And it's, it's a good-looking head sculpt. Nice job on the paint there. Just pop the head off. Put that one on. And there you go. Alright, now for my final thoughts. I very much like this figure. I think it's got excellent posability for being an armored figure. It's got great amount of accessories. I love the color scheme. Just the whole sculpt looks fantastic. All the different layers of armor. Everything about this guy is just excellent. I just really like this figure. 
So with that, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope to see you soon again for some more action figure reviews. Until then, thanks for watching.